Hello and welcome back or to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing Tomb of the Reckoning. I just got this copy. I don't want to know when the first one came out, but the second one just got delivered today. And we're going to talk about it. Uh oh, retard alert! Retard alert class! Presenting the Short Bus Veteran! All right. Oh, man. We're doing a review here, man. Um, so you, you're you going to summarize this one. Yes. A uh, government agency that goes after supernatural forces and or activities. Old gods are returning. What it seems, right? What it seems like end of times, essentially. Yeah, it starts off saying that like a reckoning is coming, assuming that's what maybe we get a tomb of the reckoning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tome. Or however it's pronounced. Yeah, it's tome. Tomb is tome. E. Yeah. I said tomb of the reckoning. He, anyway. He didn't go to school. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I picked this up, uh, watched him uh, doing an interview with somebody, I believe, drank with the crazies. And it really interested me because uh, he talked about, like, conspiratorial type stuff that you see in stories. Um, little, like, beings possibly being behind the scenes. Uh, and. Yeah, it captured my interest, and I will say I was not disappointed by this. I oh, this one doesn't have a back to it, but anyways, um, yeah, I overall I like that. So spoiler for the rest of the view. Um, we're, I'm not gonna add spoilers to this review. We're gonna keep it um pretty tight on that. Uh, this story seems like it's gonna be really about some twist. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so you're going to be a little bit, If I can already feel right now, it's, it's we're going to be in a little bit of a long haul to get like some real good story uh, development changes. Not that there isn't good aspects in this story. Um, like I said, I enjoyed it. Uh, <clears throat> so when I saw this character on uh, the comic uh, cover, I gotta stop saying, uh. That one was probably the least interesting to me. This cover, the second one, having the werewolf was really cool. Uh, in the story, though, seeing the the ninja comic Space guy, ninja. it makes a lot more. I think it makes a lot more sense. Yeah, because it seems like they're going for like arch maybe archetypes of like different like things. I don't know exactly, but it just seems to mesh with the story, and it feels like it's not like a because it kind of looks like a superhero comic. Costume I was like say cheesy, like a nineties or two yeah. thousands anime. Yeah, and what I think he's going for is like ancient armor, and I got that more when I was reading the story. So uh, I like that, but the government agency kind of being the potential bad guys, but they don't really seem like they're bad in nature. They just kind of seem like they're doing typical government stuff and poking around things that they shouldn't be using, abusing their power. Maybe. I don't know. It could. That's how it's portrayed right now. It could totally flip later. Um, it seems like a story that might have some twists and turns to come down. I was definitely going to say abusing power. Because, yeah. You know, <clears throat> that's, what they get, that's what they do. That's what they do. Uh, uh, I'll work on that. But yeah, this this cover this cover is great. The art in general, pretty good. Uh, and what else do we have to say before we talk a little bit more about the details? Maybe some we have some criticism involved. Uh, Nothing major, just little things. Right. Yeah, and again, it's like this is this is a story. It feels like similar to my story, uh, where I feel like. There's a lot of big twist that I put into my story and it's really hard for me to talk about it. Cause I'm like, I don't know what I want to talk about because I don't know what's going to spoil. And, uh, because the twists are so important to this and this seems like that kind of story. Uh, not that we got big twists in this because it's the beginning of the story. Uh, I will say, um, the first, after the first story, I definitely was hooked, but I did feel like, I wish that these two stories were one story, but I mean, that's the issue of being an indie author is don't really have the resources to necessarily wait to produce all that and 
you know, the cost of paying an artist to write, uh, to draw the stuff. But off of the first story, I, I had the hook. And also, both stories are out. They're reasonably priced, if I remember correctly. Uh, so you're, you're going to get the first two, two stories. Uh, and here comes the biggest positive. Like I said, I got this delivered today. I already saw it on his tweet uh, from the author saying that seven days till the campaign starts <laughs> for the next one. So I, there, we're not going to have a long wait till the next story. And that's important. It's really important because people can, if, if I had to wait six months to the next campaign just started and I don't believe it takes them long from when he does the campaign to actually releasing. It's like a couple months or so. So it's like, if I had to wait six months, I could easily forget about this story. Not to say that that's like a bad thing. It's just any story. It's easy to forget. Uh, nobody, nobody's really writing this God tier level writing. That's going to capture you in one trap uh, chapter. I don't even know if there's anything like that in, in manga, which I'm a lot more experienced with. Uh, but that, that's why mangas on. And I'll keep saying it over and over again. There's a reason why manga releases pretty much every week or every other week is because they have to keep their uh, readers attention. It's not till they get to like really far into their books where they really got people captured. Uh, some cool aspects is like felt. Like the zombie characters there on the cover that felt very, uh, that was like a cool little mis like, uh, not mystery, but like, uh, misdirection. No, not misdirection. Uh, it felt like what's that show with the two brothers that so it felt like supernaturally in a, a, like a cool way? There's also this movie I can't, I cannot remember though for life of me what it reminds me of, but, um, of, of this movie. Zombie movies, though, no, it's not a zombie movie. It's it's like a ghost movie, but uh, it's reminding me of other good uh, stuff stories. So good on that. The soldiers that are fighting the people, they come down on these like little tendrils, and then they also like pull them out like quickly with they these have tendrils power armor. from yeah, power armor. From these, uh, was it wasn't really like a helicopter, but it was like a hovercraftish, like helicopter ish, ish, right? I really like that. I really like them being on these tendrils again. That reminds me of another anime that I saw where it, people are tethered in. I don't know something cool about being the, the super soldiers being tethered. It kind of gives uh, you the sense of like, oh my god, I just lost it. But like importance of uh, being tethered. I don't know. Feel it just gives off awesome sci-fi. Well, vibes. that too. I I just it needs to be in more stories. I don't I don't know. It's uh, it's a weird thing to be it's like grabbing cool. on to to life. But yeah, their armor looked cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I definitely am interested where this is going. I can't wait. I'm seven days from now. I'm gonna buy the third one, and I recommend that you do too. And uh, criticisms. So right off the bat. Uh, we were discussing, and this is just hey, this is like I hope uh, the creator watches this, and he you know looks in the device and uh, looks at this device and makes some some adjustments. None of this criticism is like critical. I'll say that. So the the dialogue, some of the dialogue with the the agency that's behind these like soldiers and stuff that are looking for these. It seems like that anyone. These supernatural people with supernatural powers, they seem to be seeked out specifically by this agency. And they are they feel like a CIA or any other like three letter organization type military adjacent kind of thing. And uh like in the beginning they, they used uh regular time uh instead of military time. It was like two two PM he said like two PM instead of fourteen hundred. It's a really little thing, but any of those three letter agencies that are like military adjacent, they're always like filled with prior military. They're going to use military time. And I think there were some other instances that that happened where they weren't using like military lingo that they, those agencies definitely would use. Yeah. Cause I mean, even, and I told him this, even if it's a civilian agency that's military adjacent or paramilitary, they were founded by the military originally and they're ran by veterans. So they're going to have the linguo and linguo, you, you know, all that, <laughs> yeah, it's all, the, lingo, it's lingo. 
all that fun stuff as a background from the military and then they branch out to whatever specializations that they do but like when you said suit up suit up yeah. um i have my entire adult life up until like a few months ago has been pretty much as a tactical operator background uh military and some private and we've never said suit up it's always gear up or kit up um never have i ever heard it uh, i served in the marines in the army and they all said gear up or kit up right and it's just the the like the the little details yeah. and i we don't expect obviously most people to know this and it doesn't really it doesn't, it, it doesn't take away from the stories but it's those little little touches yeah. that can help improve it uh hey man if you hit me up and we we're both military background we can we can uh consult on that yeah. <laughs> uh, that'd be cool that, that yeah that'd be cool uh because what what it is is like if it is big enough uh like if i heard somebody say clip instead of magazine instantly that's like okay you literally did zero research on on guns uh not saying that you have to do every little bit of research but it, if if you have too much of that, it could feel like that uh, not enough effort went into it. And research is is some effort that is expected. I was going to say, there's a lot of guys like us, you know, who have military backgrounds. And, like, there's a lot of operators and whatnot that are nerds and love this kind of stuff. So those little things are going to nitpick it and it might throw them off as mundane as it might seem. Yeah. Guys like us generally tend to be critical with that for whatever reason. Well, it's just like it's just like a warning, right? Because it's, yeah. it's, it's like, um, like I said, if 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 I hear clip instead of magazine, I instant eye roll because I'm like, that dude, come on, that's the most common thing. Like, what is this an M1 Grand? Little things where you think like it wouldn't matter because like if you're if you know nothing about guns and you're like, all right, what this what's this part called? You shouldn't. When they say clip, you know that that person just assumed instead of looking up like what's this part. Uh, now there's other things where it's like, okay, would we say suit up? You wouldn't know ne necessarily like, oh, do I need to research to see if the military has a, like, if this agency would say something like that? So there's a difference between knowing that you should look up something. Like, obviously, you don't know something about guns. You're going to look up the parts. Um, so that's where it's like, you, you have, it definitely doesn't reach into that territory where we're annoyed. But it's like, hey, look. So let's get off that point. Yeah. <laughs> we hammered it down. That was it. Um <laughs> Besides that, it was cool, cool, cool. I love the dialogue. I want to also add yeah, the dialogue I love it. Uh, was great. You mentioned the bubbling was really easy to follow. That's awesome. That's that's something I, I always in, in manga that I'll read and it's so challenging because you don't know which manga which bubble is supposed to go first. That was done really well in this story, where you could file follow the dialogue really easily. And also the dialogue was just really good. Like when he called it the was the Mexican vampire. Yeah, I thought that was hilarious. It just, yeah, it felt it felt natural. Uh, none it of looks the, like me. <laughs> nothing felt awkward. Uh, but yeah, great story. I am putting this at a seven. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, seven is really good. Uh, We're seven, seven means it, it achieved the hook. Uh, and it's really, and this is me being, uh, you, I'm going to stop giving people a point on the, like the, the beginning stories, uh, because look, the hook is the hardest part to get, and this achieved that. I, I just, I, I'm just gonna, even if it's the beginning, I'm gonna judge it what I think it is. I could easily see any of these next following stories going up above easily. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's not it, like seven is like good. Uh, again, I would like, I always point to Attack on Titan where like the monster is above the head, and you you just like have like a super oh shit moment. Uh, that would be like closer to like a nine. This was had cool moments. It got me hooked. It did what it needed to do. Uh, like even so, like people look at six as a bad. Like six is still a positive. Seven's like good, good, yeah. right? Uh, now uh, another way you could easily got a point. Not this picture. He knows what the other picture is of the 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 hot vampire chick. Could have got a point there. Could have easily been an eight or nine. If they, if she was in this one, I did expect that she was gonna be in this one. Maybe I missed something. Uh, really let down there. <laughs> I really expect her to be in the next one. If she's not, that will definitely be an immediate point loss. You're going. If she's six. not in the third one, 
You better warn me if she's not in the third one, because I expect to see her. All right. And guys, if you made it this far, got news for you. You're retarded. But hey, we're all retarded here. So join the shore bus where every seat is the back seat. And as we know, that back seat is the cool seat of the bus. And you're on it. All right, later. Cruising down the highway, never